Hey guys, so I actually get a lot of questions on dulcecandy.com as to how I get my skin to look the way it does for the pictures. And I actually have a whole separate foundation routine that I do when on the days that I just like, you know, base the whole day around a blog post because then there's the other days where I just kind of go out and about my life and stuff and then I just so happen to take outfit pictures and stuff. But like I said, on the other days where I get ready strictly just to take outfit pictures, um, I do a completely different foundation routine. And I actually use as the main product, I guess, is the Revlon Photo Ready Foundation. So I first got it at CVS and I was like, what is, what kind of foundation is this? First of all, for me, it felt very heavy and cakey looking, no matter how much of a small amount I applied on my face. So I decided to give it a second shot, well, after actually many tries, and that one day that I went out to take outfit pictures, my skin looked so good, my face especially. It looked really good, and it really looked flawless. So I guess for an everyday use, I don't recommend it. Um... Because I just, I don't know, it just feels very, even, it looks very light on my, on my skin too. And I think that's the reason, because a lot of people that have been getting the foundation, they say that it feels very light on their skin. And I feel that it looks like that because white, the color white reflects a lot of light. So that's, I guess, their whole theory behind making your flawless appear smaller, like your flaws look smaller or even disappear. It's like high intensity pigmentation inside of the product. And I guess that's only good if you take pictures, which it is formulated for pictures. So for that, I do love it. Um, other than that, for like a daily use, I feel like it's too heavy and it's just like not my thing. It just looks too much. But anyway, since a lot of you asked, I will show you how to create this whole look and the lips because these were very, very requested um, since I posted on my Just a Bit Sexy blog on dulcecounting.com. So if you are interested on how to learn how to apply makeup for blog purposes, then this is the video for you and hopefully you guys get a chance to enjoy it and try it out because um, there's a few tips and tricks that I give out throughout the video. And that's pretty much it. I will talk to you guys later and thanks for watching. I take some cleansing tissue towelettes and I actually um, use these which were only $1.99 very inexpensive but then I have the other ones that I really like and I use them before bed to remove my makeup sometimes um, usually like when I travel or anything like that that I use like lack of facial cleanser but these actually work really well and um, the only thing is that they smell like cucumbers because they're like they have like cucumber extract supposedly but what I do is remove my makeup Starting with the eyes very gently, trying not to tug. I was actually in the middle of a tutorial, so this eye is like harder to remove because I had um, a primer. And then I remove eyeliner from this eye. Usually I have eyeliner at the top, but today I didn't. And then foundation. And then next, I like to take Avian Facial Spray, and then I like to mist my face, like that. And while I do that, I either choose between like different moisturizers, so if I'm breaking out a lot, I like to use this one by Aveeno, it's clear complexion, and it works really well, especially like for that time of the month that you tend to break out, because that's usually like the only time that I actually break out. It's like before that happens. So I like to take a flat brush like this one, and this is that SS197 by Sigma. And I just take one pump, and obviously if you want to use your, um, your fingers, you can do that. But I found that with a brush, sinks in a lot faster. Alright, so now I'm taking this um, Magic Perfecting Base, and this is by L'Oreal. It's like their studio line. It's so creamy, and I love this product included in my favorites like a billion times but I usually apply this on my t-zone but for pictures I like to do this underneath my eyes 
just kind of pat it down and this is going to especially you know how you have like the little lines down here it's gonna fill those up and then um, just gonna even out this area so just take very little pat it smooth it out like this just take the remaining and put it around your nostrils now we're taking the Studio Secrets Anti-Redness Primer. What you can do is just take a concealer brush like this one and just kind of pump a little bit onto the brush, like small amount. And then usually where I have redness is right here on my cheekbones and top of my eyes, eyebrows. Just kind of blend that out here, but you want to make sure you blend it out. You can tap it out and that should reduce any redness. I know a lot of women also tend to get very red around the cheek area. So this is a really good product for that. It really works for that and I'm not a big fan of like green concealer. Honestly, I never found out never found it to actually work, but this one is in a liquid form. And it really works well with like toning down any redness. And for me, just like I told you, it's a little bit on the red, a um, little bit on the cheeks, and then a little bit on top. Now for the foundation, um, for pictures. <clears throat> now the foundation that I've been using for pictures has been the Revlon Photo Ready Foundation. Um, I, I'm going to start applying it, but I'm going to take my 188 by MAC and just take it kind of shake it up a little bit and then I'm just gonna take it directly into the bristles and I'm just doing one full pump alright and I'm gonna start by kind of stippling on the foundation on one side like this As you can see this is a lot of foundation but just like I was telling you this is the only time that I use this much foundation it's for my pictures because I know a lot of you are wondering you know how do you get your skin to look like that? <laughs> well, this is it. Alright, so now we're going to move on to the concealer. And this concealer, I actually didn't even like it either the first time that I got it. And this is the Dream um, Mousse Concealer in Cream Light 4-5. Kind of looks like this. And I didn't like it because it was very, very drying. Even if you used very little, like it would still look very cakey and dry underneath your eyes. But, I actually added some Fix Plus to this. Just take some Mixing Medium or like the Avian Facial Spray and just do one full pump inside. Like that. So it's going to be wet inside. And just take your concealer brush and kind of like swoosh that around and mix it up. And it creates a really creamy consistency and it's going to last you, it's going to stay like this for a week and a half. So you don't even have to add any more. And then I just take it and then I apply it underneath my eyes all the way around like this. You can see how bright it is already. And just take it and blend it out with the other side of the brush. like that and then I'm gonna do the rest on this eye it goes into the top of the eyelids kinda work that alright so now we're gonna buff all of this out with a um, kabuki brush and since we're doing heavy concealer and heavy uh, foundation we want to stay away from powder foundation. What I like to do is I actually found this powder at Target. And it's very inexpensive. It's by NYC. And it's in translucent. It completely has like, it has no color at all. Looks like this. And then I like to take a kabuki brush. This is the Sigma SS182. And just take it, kind of tap it off. And then buff it into your skin. Especially the T-zone. I am not the one to have oily skin, but when it's really hot outside, I start sweating, and my makeup does not last as long. So, 
some color to our face. And for this, I have been using a bronzer that is very similar to Laguna Bronzer by NARS, which is one that I use all the time. Um, this one is by MAC, and it came out... I'm sure they have a similar color like it, but it's called Refined Golden. And it comes in a little compact like this, and there you have it. It's really pretty bronzy color. And I like to just take any blush brush, and this is by Eco Tools, and then just take it and kind of pat that right on your cheekbone. And this is really going to bring color to your face. And I don't like to use um, bronzer and blush at the same time, but I know a lot of people do. Like that. And then we are going to move on to the eyes. And for the eyes, I'm not going to do it on camera because I'm trying to save time because I know a lot of you actually want to know about the lips. But what I'm going to do is just take a black eyeliner. And this is Smolder by MAC. You can also take the black Revlon um, eyeliner that I told you guys about. But we're going to take this one and we're also going to do liquid eyeliner on the top. And we're just going to add a little bit of mascara the lashes and this is the new one this is the covergirl lash blast fusion oh my god i love covergirl lash blast especially the orange one and this one oh, i love it it's one of my favorites i love covergirl for mascaras okay so that's for the eyes and then we're going to do a little bit of highlight and of course i always use my matte highlight and this is by anastasia this goes right beneath your eyebrows or wherever you want to highlight your face but I actually like to just do it right there for pictures and then just take concealer brush just pat that down a little bit pat it down and that should blend out easily just make sure it's blended out at the sides because then it looks a little chalky Ooh, I just did just put some blue eyeliner on my eyelid dang it I touched the wrong thing all right, there we go. All right, so for the lips, a lot of you were waiting for this. First, you want to start off with a lip liner, and this is called Temperature Rising, and it's a very bright neon orange. Looks like this. It's very, very bright. Now, the lipstick alone, if you wear it by itself, let me show you. Oh, it's just... See, the lipstick is right next to it. It's very sheer. You can't really see it. It just gives you like a nice glow to the lips. And then the lip gloss is um, Lip Glass in Easty Lounger. And it's just kind of like a pinkish one. They also have a coral one, but that's not the one that I used. Let's start first with outlining your lips, or my lips in this case. It's very important that you stay within the shape, and then I'm going to fill it in. So take your time. Alright, so there you have it. And what you can do is to add lip gloss right on top. But what I'm going to do is take a um, Beach Bound lipstick. And I'm just going to use this because it's going to give it a really nice golden feel to it. So that's the only reason I'm putting this on top. And then finish it off with some lip gloss. Alright, so this pretty much completes the makeup that I use on my face. The only thing that I change that it's different is my lips. This I change every day. I usually do like bright hot pink or I do like just lip balm. It, like I just go on through many changes. But this is like the main part that changes is my lips. I don't have time to do my eyes like all crazy for each blog post. But this is pretty much it, and I decided to do it with these bright lips because those were the ones that were requested a lot for um, Just a Bit Sexy, the blog post that I did on DulceKenny.com. So if you guys want to check that out, you can go there. Anyways, I will talk to you guys later, and thank you so much for watching. Bye!